Okay, y'all. Y'all know I hate talking on these videos, but I know y'all gonna have questions. This is a box that I made for a good friend of mine who's a paper crafter and is about to be a grandma again for the, really kind of like the first time because her older grandchild is 20 years old and now she's gonna be a grandma all over again. So I wanted to make her something sweet. So this is my kind of take on a project that I saw Janice Freeman had made. Loved Janice's. She sent me a couple of notes, but I couldn't wait long enough to get the notes, so I started on my own. So I'm going to turn this and talk at the same time, so hopefully it turns out okay. So this is the front. The box is 12 and 3 eighths inches long. It's 10 and a quarter inches high. And when you turn it this way, you'll see that it's 8 inches deep. The base I made a little longer because I wanted it to look like a piece of furniture. So the base is actually 9 and an eighth deep this way and 13 and a quarter inches running this way so that it gave it that nice little base plus my feet mounted up underneath the base. So that raised it up about another inch and an eighth high. So, but it gave it, it really kind of made it look more like a little piece of furniture, which I loved. So and you'll see the hinges and stuff there and the little handle that I added. These windows are made out of window sheets from Stampin' Up. I found a pack of those. I don't know if I, they even make it anymore, but I'm gonna have to order some more. This front window is 10 and an eighth inches long and about five inches high. And I'm gonna lift the camera up. Bear with me if it shakes and shakes. But it's also got a top window in it. Isn't that adorable? And that window is same inches long, but it's about five and seven eighths inches high. So um, the top piece is a little taller than the front piece of the box, so that's why it's a little different on that. Um, okay, so here we go. Here's all this, right? All this goodness. Now, this whole little thing lifts up, and it's actually on hinges, and I used the little ribbons here on this side to anchor it so it didn't push too far and actually end up coming um, off the hinges. I didn't know how well those hinges would hold in the chipboard. So, and but now I can totally stand up by itself. It doesn't uh, pull should be okay shouldn't uh, come undone and uh, then I'm not gonna open up all of these little goodies but I'll just pull like this one out of the middle there's 12 of those each one has about an inch depth with a piece of chipboard in it and little struts or construction strips on each side to uh, kind of hold it in place and then each one has a little folio in it this they're all designed just a little bit different but all with that same authentic cuddle girl paper so this one in particular has a little flap with a little corner pocket, a little belly band with a couple photo mats, and of course the little photo mat over here in the pocket. So like this is a little photo mat that pulls out, that kind of stuff. And of course I use tons and tons of magnets, but each one is just a little bit different in here. Um, and actually if you hang on, I will lift this one more time and try not to make you all drunk at the same time. So I'm going to pull a couple of these out so that you can see what it looks like on the inside. These are actually chipboard pieces that I cut into the shape that I wanted. And then each one has a construction strip that runs along each side. This, the back side, the bottom, and the front side. And then they're secured inside the box. And then the one thing I did do was I, paper, I put the printed paper on the actual... Um, dividers before I put them in and then I had to go in and put little printed paper in there to hide the construction strips but that is pretty much everything I can think of so hope you guys like it hope I didn't take too long and make you too drunk with all the wiggles